so my departure place is Addis Ababa. The other must, most very important tip for you has to be Djibouti is a country on the Horn of Africa that borders Ethiopia to the west and southwest and I feel like it's a country that more people would want to visit but they lack this information on how to go about it and in this video I'm gonna take you all the details that you need to know for you to go and visit Djibouti. Next step as usual, Covid test. Everything you need to know before you head to Djibouti. I'm telling you, it's been a journey of like a few days of research. And this is for anyone who is having a thought or an idea or anything you want to go to Djibouti. In this video, you have all the details. Stick around, hit the like button, subscribe and let's do this. Hey, for those who are new here, my name is Damaris Jenga and I am Queen Desta who brings happiness to you as you keep doing your life and we live happily in this world. Anyway, uh, I recently moved to Ethiopia. Is it now recently or I have been living in Ethiopia for some time? And uh, because I still desire to travel, it is my moment to go to another destination and Djibouti won for me and uh, so for anyone who'd be wondering where i'm coming from i'm departing from addis ababa to djibouti most of the time actually even if you're flying in from different places the most convenient like flight is you land in addis ababa then from there you may, maybe you can you you transit to djibouti yeah, and I have so many amazing facts that I'm learning about Djibouti even before we get there that I'll definitely share with you guys. So stick around, make sure you have subscribed and uh, let's get into it. I'm actually currently parking. I'm like two hours away before I leave and I have to give you all these details so all of us and many of us can be informed and we can all travel. So I guess let's get into some parking mode as I tell you all the visa accommodation, COVID all those things that you're here to get and to learn so I am seated here at Lebu I think it's Lebu I'm gonna write it here railway station apparently I came when it's lunch time uh, so I have to wait you know what I wish there was like a station that I would fully just pay I tried to call but they wouldn't pick calls or even the numbers that are online are not working numbers yeah so if you're planning to use the train just no actually oh this is the longest i have taken in a ride like the longest distance ever ever yeah so put this if you're doing like the miles in relation to your transport costs remember to add uh this distance like the distance it took you from because i paid 320 to just come here 320 beer that's close to six dollars you know then imagine a return then you have to add that in your transport cost so let's keep waiting but this place apart from it being far from the city it's so calm and chill with a very good like wind breeze that is calming it's a clean place i like it so far and then it looks like this whole long building welcome to my parking escapade back to a backpacking bag it's been a minute since i did travel actually so i hope i did not forget how to continue doing backpacking but once a backpacker always a backpacker you will somehow always remember so there are some essential that i need to carry and yeah so i'm sorry let me talk about my packing story and then after that we get into the serious ones so that i don't have to talk as i continue doing things Most important is like a souvenir wherever I am going you get to understand about this with time and some coffee like Abyssinia coffee would you recommend this coffee let me know if you're a Christian I'd love to I'd love to know so enough about parking I just know all you need to put in mind as you're parking is remember Djibouti is uh, you expect to be decent as much as you want to enjoy the hot weather and everything so uh other things i'm supposed to talk about i hope i am able to multitask and uh, still be able to deliver and so you expect to be decent as much as you want to enjoy 
the hot weather and everything. So uh, other things I'm supposed to talk about. I hope I am able to multitask. So first things first, content creation has to continue regardless of where we are going. Though I've already been told that Djibouti is not one of the most friendly countries to film in, but I'll definitely try to bring you the best episodes that I can. So apart from that, let's get into the requirements first. So many countries, I think almost all, because including Ethiopians, you need a visa to go to Djibouti. So for Kenyans, it is e-visa. So if you're flying, there are two there are two or three main ways to go to Djibouti. The first one has to be using the flight. Uh, the second one is using the train. And the third one is using a bus. So the most convenient one definitely is the plane. In the plane, uh, you can apply for a new visa. So you don't need to go visit the embassy and all those things. So easy, pizza, at your comfort of your place. Uh, for If you're using the road, so that means you're either taking the train or you are taking uh, the bus, then you have to apply the visa at the embassy. So because they don't offer the visa at the border. So some of the things that you need to know as you're going to apply for the visa is you have to have a train or flight booked so you have to book your ticket first then you also need to have your covid test and then you have to have booked your accommodation or your invitation letter from the person who is inviting you in Djibouti now before i tell you about my experience on this journey of these three things let me do some more packing okay So now for the train, you have to know that the train departs Addis Ababa on odd days. Like for example, on 12th, 13th, 15th, 17th, on the odd day of the calendar. So those are the days that you depart. So make your, please go early and book your ticket because it can be chaotic if you can go early in advance so you can save yourself the time so the next thing after you have your ticket ready uh the next thing is you test for your covid you have to do your math right because at the train they recommend that your your covid should only have lasted for 24 hours now this is the good part about uh the visa so because i can only be able to apply for the visa if i have a covid test and uh, if i already have the ticket so today is when I actually got my visa because I tested for COVID yesterday and then results came out by evening. Then today morning went to the visa station. Also, I have to say this uh, for foreigners, you have to apply using US dollars. They do not take beer. And also remember to have a passport photo. Yeah, because these things, they really got me into back and forth back and forth so if you have all these details that's why i do the i do the walking so you can do the running okay <clears throat> so then you apply in the morning and then if you're successful they will tell you to come for your results in the afternoon so around 2 to 30 i went picked my visa and now i am ready ticket booked covid ready and visa applied now i am finishing up on parking and then I head to the train station. Then stick around because I have more factors that you need to know before you go to Djibouti. Let me just finish up on this one, okay? Subscribe in the meantime. So I am done packing and some other factors that you need to know as you go on this road trip is keep in mind that Djibouti is more expensive than most other places. So have your finances in check. Then uh, for those who, was, who are wondering how much I paid for the visa, it is 35 USD. Uh, yes, and it has to be in USD, in dollars, okay? What else? What else? Other must, most very important tip for you has to be always continue watching Damaris Jenga Djibouti episode because all of this, I'm going to take you with me. Like now, I'm about to leave this place and go board the train and I'll definitely take you along with me on that journey. So subscribe and let's enjoy our Djibouti and welcome to Djibouti before we even land there subscribe hit the like button i will see you in my next video always always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next time ciao can you guys even see me but welcome to backpacking episode back to life just made it here at the station and it's actually very far they had told me to be here by 6 
p.m. but I'm here at 7 p.m. because of traffic and I hope everything goes well let's go check in and I'll take you along with me on this journey <laughs> 